わずかな時間切れのほんのちょっとした隙をまずポイントしました、はい、やっぱりこれはさすがにやっぱりベテランだと思います田中の逆襲ですね逆襲ですはい鮮やかでしたこれで田中選手世界選手権見事2連勝ですそして日本は6種目全部の優勝を成し遂げました You've just become the world champion for the second straight time. How do you feel? All I can say is I feel really happy, mainly because all the competitors I fought against were all really big. In the first round, I fought against Bruno. He came in second, and I've been wanting to beat him for a long time. Anyway, once I defeated him in the first round, that set the pace for the rest of the tournament. It's early September, and the All Japan Karate Championships are close at hand. At the main dojo of the Japan Karate Association, those of the instructor's class intending to participate in the meet have gathered here, time and strength permitting, from all parts of Japan. In order to put the last finishing touches on their ever-continuous tests, they're devoting themselves to daily training sessions. I've known Tanaka Sensei since I started university. I met him first when I entered the karate club of the veterinary medicine school of Nihon University. Once a week he'd come to teach us, and that's how I got to know him. It was in my very first year of university. My very first impression of him was one of a fearfulness that's impossible to put into words. It wasn't in the way he spoke or in his expression, but instead was a fearfulness that came forth from within his whole being, even from far away. Just strong, really strong, an incredible strength no matter what. <laughs> I could never outdo him. Even today, I can't outdo him. His technique? Mm, Tanaka's kick is his best technique. Concentrating on that kick itself, I intend to learn more from Tanaka's techniques in many ways.
Masahiko Tanaka will not be taking part as a competitor in this meet, but the zeal with which he follows the kumite is still one which exceeds that of the younger competitors. There's a grimness that only a former continuous world champion can hold, because, as head of the foreign instructors, he has pushed himself to the limits, and even now continues to do so. The 23rd and 24th of September. At long last, the All Japan Karate Championships are before us. Now is the time for the results of a year's training to be put to the test. matches, both individual and group, are to take place at the championships. Masahiko Tanaka, in his role as referee, watches closely the development of the young men and women aiming to make their mark in the world. In Kumite matches, the Sundame rule is held, but shattering forces are brought to such extremes that injuries occur one after the other. There's a fierceness that will not allow for presupposition even for one moment, as bodies that have been forged into weapons meet in an exchange of well-trained waza. I'd read about him in magazines, and a lot of my seniors trained at JKA, so I'd heard a lot about him from them as well. And the first time I met him was when I graduated from Takushoku University. That year, we'd had quite a few victories, and I met him at a celebration party. When you face Tanaka Sensei in a match, you find that every opportunity for an attack is blocked. It gives you the feeling that there are no unguarded moments at all. He's quite open and frank. Seems very down to earth.
As for his matches, well, the one that left the strongest impression on me is the World Championships in Bremen. In the finals, in the last decisive moments of the match, he used a front kick to the midsection, his finest technique. It's pretty hard to put your best technique to use during the tense atmosphere of a major tournament, but he doesn't let himself be bothered by that atmosphere. What's more, he took advantage of a rare opportunity in that two-minute match and at precisely that moment was able to apply his best technique. Oh, I was astonished by it. His karate is strong. He's got strikes and kicks that are powerful enough to knock down anyone with a single blow. <laughs> I'd like to have just a fraction of the strength that he's got. <laughs> the fifth individual Kumite match is over. And at last, the best four are left undefeated. Drawing to the conclusion of the championships, only the final three matches, the semi-finals, remain. match will have these two pitted against each other. The up-and-coming Tomio Imamura and Hideo Yamamoto who, because of the explosive power his small stature contains, is known as the pocket atom. Come on, show them. 